Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back. So today is Scrubby Sunday and you might be wondering what is Scrubby Sunday? Well, Scrubby Sunday started with Heather over at Strings and Threads and if you want to check her channel out, I'm going to put her link below. She started making dishcloths back in January to practice some of her knitting and crochet stitches and then the American Starfish organization reached out to Heather asking if she could donate some washcloths to them. She agreed and there are now many channels participating to help out. And even if you don't have a channel, you can participate. I heard about Scrubby Sunday through Ali at Ali Artifacts. I'm also going to link her channel in the description below if you'd like to follow her. The American Starfish Organization has land in Arizona and they build villages for homeless veterans and tiny homes in these villages and they also I believe they also provide food for them and they are in need of some washcloths. If you'd like to participate they'll be collecting the washcloths through November 11th and I will leave all the details below and if you have a channel some of us are posting videos every week showing the washcloths that we've made you don't need to do that though and if you don't have a channel that's fine too just make as many washcloths as you'd like and i'll have the address below on where you can ship those to and you can ship them you know weekly monthly or collect them all and ship them at the end uh, i haven't quite decided how i'm going to do that yet so i followed some patterns for mine I wrote them down here and I'm going to leave all the information in the description below in case you happen to like any of the patterns that I followed. And the first one that I made was Sweet Susie Washcloth by Sweet Bee Crochet. And I love this one. I, let's see, I don't think there's a right side there, but this is what it looks like. It is approximately a nine by nine, or it came out to be about nine by nine. I used a five millimeter H hook for this and Lily Sugar and Cream, the color Sage Green. I just love it. Now, okay, so I didn't follow the pattern exactly because it, I was noticing when I was doing that, it was becoming to be a really big washcloth like a 10 or 11 by 9 I'm like uh, okay so what I did was frogged some of it undid some of my work and instead of doing like you see this pattern here had like four rolls this pattern had four rolls four 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 well I did in the middle these all have three instead of four just to get it to be a nine by nine I probably should have used a smaller hook in the beginning to make it that size, but either way, it turned out and I love it. So the next one is, oh, and I wanted to let you know, I don't have much yarn left, but I had already used some of this for a different project, probably maybe one fourth of the skein before crocheting this washcloth and it was also so it was lilies and cream i'm just looking for the yardage here for you so i had 120 yards in it um and i was able to get this washcloth and then you have a little extra yarn left the next washcloth was called halen washcloth by through the loop yarn craft this was also a nine by nine. Seems kind of big, but you know, I hope it's not too big. I really, I learned a new, I, knew, I learned a new stitch in this one. I think it was called the paired single crochet. Yeah, the paired single crochet, and I had never heard of it before. And I'm like, wow, it's kind of, it's nice to learn new stitches. So. I love the texture of that one. It looks very nice. So this one, I don't remember if I said, was also Lily Sugar and Cream and um, in the color Wine. And I had a full row of this one when I started the washcloth and I have about this much left. This again was 120 yards in this skein here so yeah 
the third oh so i have to say i have so much lily sugar and cream yarn that i'm gonna use for a lot of these washcloths i have a whole basket um not sure if you any of you saw my my last video about closet cleaning and yarn organization but i had a whole crocheted basket that i made with full of lily sugar and cream cotton yarn and I'm going to use a lot of that to make some of these washcloths. Um, if you haven't seen that video I can link that below too. And when I watched Ellie, Ellie Artifacts, when I watched her Scrubby Sunday, I she bought some I Love This Cotton Yarn and I have never tried I Love This Cotton Yarn and I thought oh my gosh I think I really want to buy some. <laughs> So I bought three skeins of this the other day because I I wanted to try it. And Allie also had this color, I believe. This one is called Emerald Pine. I absolutely fell in love with it when she showed it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope my Hobby Lobby has some. And they did. So I got one of those in the colors. I can't get over these colors. It's so beautiful. Um, it has like, it looks like browns, yellows, greens, and it's a four weight, 100% cotton. Um, and I can't get over how soft this cotton is. I mean, if you compare it to Lily Sugar and Cream, this is, you know, more, more rough. And I know when you wash Lily and Sugar and Cream, it like, softens up but this is already soft and so like working with this to me when I was crocheting I didn't make anything with this particular one just yet I can't wait um when I was crocheting with this I was amazed at how soft it was and it just makes crocheting so much more enjoyable <laughs> so all right now so I'm gonna make some of and this one for next week and let's see, my next washcloth was made from this one. I, th I think Ellie might have had this color too on her channel. Um, this one has like white, reds, blues, and some green in it. Oops, hope you can see that. And I, it's not a full skein because I used some of it. So everything else is the same. And this is how it turned out. Oh, first, the pattern for this one, this next one, was Simple Cotton Crochet Washcloth by Avery Lane Creations. I made my washcloth bigger than what she called, than what hers was. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I made, I'm trying to make them all about the same, probably about an 8x8 or 9x9, but these are both, these are about a 9x9. And I really enjoyed this one too. And look how pretty it came out. I just, I love how the colors fall. And I used a 5.5 millimeter hook and I chained 31 to get this. I think hers might have been a 26 or something, not sure. But yeah, I, I really love it. It was, I'm trying to remember the stitch. Yeah, I think this one was like one row, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, kind of like a pattern like that. The next one was single crochet, and then it would go back to the double, single, double, single. And yeah, really loved it. It made, not working with this yarn and some of these patterns, you're like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to make myself some washcloths. So maybe after November, I might make myself a few. All right. Now the next one was also, I love this cotton. As you can tell, I've used that. And the color is domino effect. I really thought this was pretty too. It's got like um, white grays and like a really light tan or or maybe a honey mustard. It's very nice. 
and the pattern oh i forgot to give you the color name of the this one this one was called a walk in the park yeah walk in the park now the pattern that i did for this one just gotta find it here was beginner easy crochet washcloth by easy crochet and i also made this a nine by nine now i was surprised because this was very similar to the last one i did and the colors oh my gosh i find that so gorgeous too now this one was very similar to the last one where it was like a single yeah single crochet half double single half double one row single and then it went back to the other um yeah i enjoyed making these two patterns it was just super simple easy to work like you can easily just watch a youtube video or a netflix show or whatever you want while you're crocheting and it's just so simple and easy to whip up so really love that And that is what I have for my washcloths this week for Scrubby Sunday. I'm hoping to make even more for next week. I'm not sure how many I'll get done, but hopefully at least four. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you're all having a great Sunday. Take care.